This local sports report is presented by Homewood Suites by Hilton of Cambridge Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports and the Hespler Shamrocks. Call now to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer and receive a discount for your accommodation. Homewood is your home away from home for tournaments and special events. Book your stay now by calling 519-651-2888 or visit cambridgewaterloo.homewoodsuites.com. It's Game 6 in the Best of 7 series between the Hespler Shamrocks and the Tavistock Braves. The Shammies returning to home ice for the final time this series, looking to close out in front of the home crowd and knock out the Braves. The Braves able to rally in Game 5 and pick up a do-or-die win, looking to repeat that result on the road and force a winner-take-all Game 7. Jumping into the first period ends the Shammies off an ozone draw. Derek Taylor fires it on net. Thomas Giffen knocks in the rebound. That's Giffen's first of the playoffs. And the Shamrocks take a 1-0 lead in game six. The Braves back the other way looking to turn the momentum and look up behind the Hespler net. Mark Dion flies in and flattens his man. Dion would be given roughing on the play, but the Braves would kill off the penalty. Later in the frame, now Nicholas Thibodeau picks it up in the Shamrock zone. Nick spins and shoots, and it's a beauty shot from Thibodeau. He ties the game up, and it's 1-1 after 20. Into the second period we go and have with the Braves out of the break. Ethan Sharp takes the puck outside, and he sets up Ian Glendening for the finish. That's Glendening second of the series, and the Braves wouldn't stop there. Five minutes later now, and it's Ryan Soljak centering for Trent Davies, and Davies roofs it. That's Trent second of the series, and the Braves take a 3-1 lead. The Shammies trailing by a pair and they look to answer. Jack Restore's shot is snatched up by the glove hand of James Hopper, and the Braves keep rolling. Later in the frame now, the Shamrocks pressing in the Braves zone. It's a big hit from Riley Panagavka on the sideboards, but look out at the blue line. Ethan Sharp knocks down the pass and he's off to the races. It's a common collective finish from Sharp, and the Braves are flying. Four one Braves now, and they'd add a couple more before the period was over. Stefan Pepis is good for his first of the series here on the power play, and only a minute after that, it's a four one for Tavi, and it's Ian Glendening sniping the top corner. That's Glendening second of the night, and the Braves are up six to one in game six. Into the third period now, the Braves able to kill off a couple penalties, and it's one more for the road from Tavi. Jacob Reed Brant slams at number seven for the Braves, and this one's going the distance. So the Tavistock Braves with back-to-back -back wins force a Game 7 as they tie the series up at 3-3. Game 6 ending with a final score of 7-1 on Sunday. Game 7 is on Monday night back in Tavistock. Uh, boys stayed disciplined. We got the job done. Um, we used our speed. We also uh, kept it simple, got pucks deep, and then, yeah, stayed disciplined, uh, stayed out of the box. Uh, we knew we had to show up to play. We knew they were going to come, and uh, our offense has been a little slow. Uh, we had the D carry the weight last night, so we uh, we knew we had to come out and, and uh, bury the puck tonight, and we went out and did so. Everyone's just buying in at this point. Um, I think with younger guys, uh, not quite knowing what it's going to take in playoffs, um, but I think at this point, everyone's bought in. Everyone knows what it's going to take, and we're ready to do so.